All right, guys, welcome back to another Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander. It's going to be partially a mukbang because I'm going to be eating these tacos. Shout out to, I just like that little afro guy right there. Af- tacos El Afro out here in Lancaster. This stuff is looking bomb. Ooh, wait. Ah! Pause. It's Taco Tuesday. So I got some fish tacos. Got some chicken tacos. I got an Al Pastor taco. And I got a Carnier Asada taco. So I'm about to be eating that while I talk to you guys about the story that I have for you. Because I said I would be back with another story. And so here we are. Um, recently I went to Griffles. Oh, also I got some rice and beans. Oh, oh, fire. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. About you see, name Jesus. I'm so you pray, man. Amen. Everybody say amen. I told them to put the hot sauce and stuff on there because I don't want to have to be pouring and to put extra. So lately or recently, I went to Griffles to um, donate plasma. And, you know, I, I've done it before as a female. And this is for my trans brothers and trans sisters. You know, if you're going to go donate... This might end up being your story, or you'll have a different story. I'm not sure. I'm going to fix this real quick. Um, But the point is, you'll have a story. Uh, Pause. Pause one second. Okay. I feel like that's better. Um, Anyways, you'll probably end up having your own story. That's good. So when I went in initially, they told me I needed to bring... Mm. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it's good. I need to bring, you know, standard things that people need to bring. Your ID and your social security card. No problem with that because I have them federally. If you watch my other videos, you know that I've already changed that over to being my legal name, Shane Alexander. And both of them say it. So no problem. I get up there and because my ID address does not match... Blah, 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 blah. The address that's out here. I need to bring them a piece of mail. Cool. Whatever. Skip through this day. Oh, mind you. Also, the lady, the first person let me know. And I'm not going to say any names, even though I remember these people's names. I'm not going to say any names. But the first person let me know that because my, the piece of mail that I brought had my dead name on it, but matched with the last name, it was okay. Once I got through the process, I was told that, no, I needed to bring a piece of mail that had my legal name on it now. Cool. Go ahead, wait the extra days, get the mail that I need to get, go back up there. I'm now allowed to go through the process, go all the way through, through the the physical and everything, donate as a mail, and then I'm called the next day to be told that I would need to come back and re-donate, or no, not redonate. I would need to come back and go through the process, which means going through the physical, such and such and such forth, again, but as a female. Now, this is where things was like, hmm, for me. Because first of all, the, 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 the beginning process takes four to six hours. That's nobody's fault. Four to six hours. It takes, two, it takes three to four hours. So it's nobody's fault. But I've already went through it, and I'm skipping over this because, you know, there's a time limit to videos, and I wanted to get through this story and not bore y'all, but it took about four days going back to back to back before this happened to where it was like, okay, now y'all, okay, I'm not usually the one to, but okay, I'm about to eat this carne asada taco, Mm mm-hmm, so... Mm. Got guacamole and stuff on it. Fire. I went into asking questions like, why? Why do I need to come up there and go through this as a female? They let me know because a doctor, mind you, there was a doctor there for my physical when I took it with the initial person. Who was just a stand-in. Because the girl was training on something. Whatever. But I said go ahead. Let's let's do this. I'm trans. I'm new. 
Hey, go to bed. Let's do this. Went through that whole process. Everybody see my glorious chest, whatever. So I'm asking why. Why I need to go back through this process. She lets me know because basically the doctor that's over the whole program, not the one that was in the room, wants me to be put down as what my bottom area is right now, basically. My genitalia does not depict what's on my ID or what I'm considered federally, so I did not understand, so I went into asking again. Why? What does that matter? I'm thinking, and I ask, you know, does it have to do with gender? Is it only because, you know, girls can only give it to girls, when, you know, plasma? And she's like, no, it has nothing to do with the gender. It has nothing to do with my testosterone. Is it my hormones? No, it has nothing to do with that. Okay. So if I go and get bottom surgery and I come back, then what? Then you go through the process as a male. Okay, well, say no names, but no names. Blame. But that's not how things are supposed to work. I understand the logic behind what you're saying. But legally, that's just not how things are supposed to work. I already got my name changed. I got my gender changed, my gender marker. And since 2019, California has recognized putting an X on your ID or your identification. I don't have one, but I'm just saying. So... What y'all gonna do for them? If gender don't matter, where are we gonna go with this? Needless to say, I went ahead and went through the, the physical again as a female. And it was the same exact thing. Literally had to do the same exact thing, show off my stuff, whatever. But on my paperwork, and I was really excited that this would be the first year I'd be Shane everywhere. Everywhere my name would be Shane. Everywhere my name or my gender be male. Or, you know what I mean? And if I was super dysphoric or something like that, this whole situation would have been a super setback for me. As a human. Just human to human right now. As a human, it would have been a super setback. Because seeing female being put on my paperwork, hearing a girl slip up and call me she... Having everybody in there ask me, why are you having to redonate? Why are you having to go through the process again? Meaning to them, I look like a nigga. Okay? Ain't nothing in their mind saying, this is a female, and that's why this person is having to go, or this is trans, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm still waiting for the corporation to call me back, let me know. And what are we doing with this? has nothing to do with them. I know they're following rules. But where are we going? And I need to know what's the exact rules. And not just me. Trans people. Non-binary. Binary. Colorful. Purple. Blue. I don't know. But everybody needs to know the rules. Including the people working there. Including the people working for them. Griffles. The people working for you should know the laws... And what's going on? When you go inside of a classroom, and I'm almost done talking. When you go inside of a classroom and you start, you don't want to talk, you, you want to know what the students are learning from the teacher. And you ask a student something like, oh, you know, why do you guys do such and such and such? I don't know. Because you stay. You go ask a kid something, well, why you look both ways before you cross the street? I don't know. My parents say. So you just, you just out here, huh? you just out here in these streets. We got to know why we doing something. Everybody, everybody got to know why they doing something, blah, 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 blah. So I end up having to redonate again. I don't really know what happened to my first donation. They probably threw that shit away. It was like, we don't know what you are. Um, but, and nobody, you know, nobody was rude into asking, you know, why are you here again? What's going on? Why are you doing it again? My answer was, I'm just a special case. But for my trans brothers and trans sisters, or anybody that's different, whatever, society got all these different rules and stuff that they want us to follow. They want us to be in these certain lines and all this other stuff. 
And if that's what they want, that's all fair and game. But at the same time, hold them accountable to me in the same lines and the same rules and the same things. Because I've talked to a lot of different trans brothers and a lot of different trans sisters and seen a lot of different news cases where I'm not the only one. But I know I haven't seen no videos. I haven't seen anybody advocating or talking about it. Not everybody in the LGBT community, whatever, plus, has a disease or something like that. We're all still human. We all can be checked for things. So let's not pretend that's the big thing. That that and, and FDA has had to change their laws and their rules a couple times because they've messed up on the fact of the old age of, oh my God, if you gay, you automatically... Mm, mm, mm. Can't donate blood, can't donate plasma. We no. No. If you know you know you got something, okay, cool. Advocate for getting tested. I tell everybody go get tested. Do that. You doing a whole bunch of crazy doing some other stuff, go get tested. But otherwise, as far as this whole plasma thing and blood thing, don't shrug it off your shoulder. Don't let it go like, oh, whatever. I let them know I was not coming up there for the money. At this point, I'm coming up here just to prove y'all wrong. Because I didn't did a lot of footwork to get my name changed. I did a lot of footwork to get my gender changed. I did a lot of footwork for this surgery right here. For everything. This voice, everything. So, basically is what I'm saying. In the words of Birdman, put some respect in it. Don't call me she, he, nothing. It has nothing to do with being dysphoric. It has everything to do with what my mind says and what I want to be called right now. I ain't white, so don't call me that. Call me what's right. If you've experienced this or something like that, you know somebody's experienced this, let me know. Leave a comment. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you like, 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 and share. Share, because you never know. Somebody going through this, somebody might be going through it. Whether you trans, gray, purple, I don't know. It don't matter. You might be feeling discrimination or feeling some type of way about some type of rules. It's not the per people, it's the rules. It's the society. And we got to continue to make this our Play-Doh. The world is our Play-Doh. We can shape it to what we want. That's what it is. And if you don't believe me, look at some uh, history facts from the 40s and how them people used to live. And look at us now. This has been Shane Alexander. Thank you guys for joining me. My little taco stampede. Weird ass neighbors. No. <laughs> but I thank y'all for coming and joining me and everything like that. I will see y'all again on the next episode. I'm about to finish eating these. Stuff. Look at that. I still got. Oh, Lord. Oh. Don't you wish your plate was hot like mine? Don't you wish... I'm just kidding. But, yeah. That was my experience with Griffles. That was my experience with trying to donate plasma. Like I said, I've tried to donate before as a female. Or I've donated before as a female. No problems. Nothing extra. We got to start asking the right questions. We got to treat people the right way. We got to do things the right way. We got to... Just treat others how you want to be treated. And everybody knows the rules. Everybody know the game. But everybody trying to act stupid and act like the victim. At the end of the day. When it's time for them to shine. It's, it's time for y'all to shine and, and and grind. I don't fucking know. I'm keep saying shit to just rhyme. Hey. But mold the world to where we need it to be. Put more love out there in the world. And we'll get more back. Hopefully. That's been Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Uh, deuces.